and Vogue. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer of Custom Chic and if you're new here, let me be the first to welcome you. I'm going to move up a little bit closer so we can get more acquainted. My channel focuses on fashion, travel, and just overall lifestyle. So if that is the kind of content you were into, then I would encourage you to subscribe, share, like, definitely hit that bell notification so you won't miss an upload. I upload videos every Wednesday and every Sunday and on today's edition of What Is Jen Doing? What She Got Going On? We are talking Eagle Official. So this is not necessarily a review haul. I picked up five pairs of shoes that I thought worked really well for me over the summer even though the box came like three weeks ago <laughs> and I just opened them but I'm so 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 excited because they have some of the best dupes out there today. I'm talking Bottega Veneta. I'm talking Amina Muwadi. I'm thinking all of the goods right they got all of the goods so i picked up a couple different pairs of shoes a lot of the square toe trending a lot of the woven material a lot of that like diamante heel style um color their color scheme is great i mean i'm talking the attico dupes so let's get right into it and then i will first of all let me show you my outfit and then we can get right okay into so today's outfit i am actually wearing a spaghetti strap tank top from banana republic the outlet and then i paired it with my something by sanji and monroe steel paper bag waist pants y'all i live for these l-i-v-e and then on the feet let me see if i can move in these are my number 21 embellished satin mules y'all all of the vibes i'm only showing y'all feet because this is a foot video typically y'all know how i feel about showing people's feet um or just showing shoes in general it's just kind of weird to me but um yeah um headband is by graffiti garb my good girlfriend miranda um has an online boutique and she has a brick and mortar store here in florida so if you are interested in that i will leave the link down below i literally cinch the heck out of these <laughs> like cinch 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 and you can wear these like a variety of different ways like i can wear it like this i can do one side up um super versatile that's what i really like about these or enjoy um they also come and that's literally just the back see please don't mind all the stuff back there y'all it's it's been a day it's been a day but here we are shooting content y'all see the shoes are already set up ego official let's get her done and that is my outfit of the day since these pants are so good i decided that i was just going to stand up i did not want to do an injustice they have pockets Every girl loves a good pocket. Like how useful is that in a piece that you're wearing? I mean, maybe it holds some money, a debit card, whatever, a cool look. You know, like, come on now. This is a shot. This right here, like I shot this years, not year, years ago, listen to me. I probably shot this a year ago, um, but I just love it. And you can wear this in a variety of different ways. Like I showed y'all, I think I was trying to show y'all when I showed y'all my outfit of the day, but I mean, you can play around with it, do what you want. It definitely gives you the ability and opportunity to wear these however you like okay you didn't come on here for my fashion yes you did but you also clicked on the thumbnail because you wanted a good review on eagle official now let me tell you i have shopped eagle official before and i'm saying ego ego right not eagle um ego official before and i mean they are pretty legit like their shoes are comfortable their shipping is fast i will say with the exception of this last order so all of the stuff that i just ordered today that we're going to talk about um Shipping was usually pretty fast and I think this time what happened is they got held up in customs and I know that because I only they only were delivered like two days after I got an email about you know clearance from um, US Customs but so I initially went on there because I wanted to talk about summer sandals like where you can go find good dupes where you can find dupes that would be dupes that would be trending past summer 2021 right for a good value good quality and um, a good snatch. Uh, or a good sleigh <laughs> i should say well you could probably snatch it up too but a good sleigh so i have been dying for the attico devon slide mules dying dying i saw them on y'all already know who i'm gonna say <laughs> tanika b and she had on a multicolor one and i dm'd her like immediately i was like are these like mm, limited edition like i have not seen this on anywhere and she's like no they should be available by the time i got there they were completely sold out everywhere farfetch um you name it, shop out everywhere. They, they were just sold out. So I was like, all right, let me just wait. They may come back in stock, yada, yada, yada. They did not. What I saw was every other color rendition but the tie-dye one. So I was like, do you just cry about it because you missed out? Hmm, a little bit of that, right? But then I was like, you know what? 
let me just bite the bullet find a dupe that I like and then if I really like them then I'll just purchase the real pair now I will say I typically do that with items that are priced over a thousand dollars um just to see how much I'm going to reach for them how much they're going to be in my closet these pairs they were there they were reasonably affordable to me um but I just couldn't find the ones that I wanted and every time they were on sale or every time I saw them they were already sold out of my size so shout out to Ego Official because I get to their website and I'm like yo <laughs> Those are the shoes that I wanted. And then I saw them in a couple of different colors, but I reach for a color that I currently do not have in my wardrobe. Y'all ready? Oh. Let me, let me, let me look away again. How beautiful and delicious are these? I mean, when I took these out of the box, I was on the phone with Kawana, Mrs. Koi Style, and I was like, <gasps> gasp right clutch the pearls all of the things i was like oh my god these are delicious she was like okay give us that same energy <laughs> when you do this unboxing and i kid y'all not i am absolutely love these now these are very similar to the attico ones except the attico mules or the attico devon mules that i've seen the bottom of these are white so the toe tap this is a very big toe tap or um, shoe tap at the bottom is white. And I think that's Attico's like signature, but these, I am absolutely in love with these. I cannot wait to wear them. Um, they did not come in a wide selection, even though Ego Official gives you some wide shoe options, um, wide width options, I should say, for your shoes, but that was not one of these. They're uber comfortable. I have not worn them yet. I plan to wear them to a photo shoot that I have, but then I ended up swapping it for another pair of um, shoes. So these, for me, are the <laughs> things that are going to kind of like compensate me for now because the Attico Devon, the Attico Devon um, tie-dye mules that I want are not, to, they're sold out. I haven't even found them on the secondhand market, but these are gonna have to do for now. And I absolutely love this color. I mean like this neon green pops, pops, right? It works in the summertime and I can easily transition this into the fall. I mean, I can see myself wearing this with a sweater dress. I probably would not wear these with like tights or, um, or um, a pantyhose because it'll easily slide through. And that's another thing too, like the width of the, the strap around the toes is thick enough that these are not kind of just like sliding all over the place. That's some of the issues that I have with mules and why I don't like typically reach for them, even though all the shoes, most of the shoes that I got are mule um, type, but absolutely love these. And I want to say they were, all of these were less than $40 a piece, US dollars. You have the option of choosing which currency you want to shop and see the prices in when you go to ego official and were these 59 maybe these were 59 but let me say this nothing was more than that and even if they were 59 there was an additional percentage off and um your girl snagged them i had to another pair of mules and here are the here are to me <laughs> the peggy bundy you know braided sort of leather Bottega Veneta dupe in the front, Amina Muwadi heel type in the back, and I absolutely love these. Now, the pitch on these shoes is no joke, okay? You see that? No joke, but I will tell you this, they are very comfortable. More so comfortable than the Attico dupes that I just showed you guys, those neon green ones. These are absolutely amazing. What I also loved about these, aside from any other sandal that I purchased from Ego Official, these give you a width option. So I got these in a size wide only because I was concerned about how much room my feet would have here and sometimes when your um when the shoe doesn't have a lot of stretch like your toes become constricted and it makes it a whole lot harder to breathe <laughs> um or for your toes to breathe rather so then you're super uncomfortable you're trying to like walk you start doing like that geisha you know um <laughs> mickey mouse timid walk and it's just so uncomfortable but these have a lot of spacing that is a double-edged sword for these shoes now because this part or the you know the strap around your toes is I don't want to say stretchy i'll say accommodating what i see happening very easily with these is that these will stretch out to the point where i can just slide my feet in and out which is good for um entry purposes right like when you're putting on the sandal but what i don't want to happen is over time as i wear them that they're just so wide that my feet are not able to just stay positioned properly in the shoe and i'm kind of like flopping around right a mule is already going to give you a lot of that click clack click clack click clack click clack um but you also want them to be super 
mm, close to your foot like I do you guys understand what I'm saying right like this pitch is fine right and then this stretches out just a smidget I think you can see that like the braided part let me stretch just stretch it out a little bit so it stretched out just enough for you to put your foot in but what I don't want to happen is for them to be permanently like this because then you lose the entire braid pattern which is obviously you know um mirrored after the Bottega Veneta um Lido mule but it also will just be too wide so that you kind of lose the beauty of this but otherwise i absolutely love this dying right for the amita muwadi inspired heel i you know these came in a variety of colors and i picked this nude one because i don't really have a lot of camel colored heels not like this i don't even think i have a strappy heel that's a camel colored i have one that's more so like a chocolatey color that i like to wear when i like to look elongated so not to distract from my outfits but this one is absolutely gorgeous i told y'all they're super comfortable even with this very stark you know um shoe pitch i want to say that this was I don't even remember the price, but I'll definitely put it down in the description box if you guys are interested in these. They come in a variety of colors, and again, they come in a variety of width options. So for all my girls that have wider feet, fear not. Eagle Official, they got you. I got you. Did I tell y'all that I kind of went crazy on the mule selections? <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, only because, and I think another thing that you have noticed that all of the shoes that I'm showing y'all so far or thus far have been that square toe, um, design. I was not in love with them when that style first came out. I want to say probably when Daniel Lee like dropped the Lido mule on the masses, right? Late 2019 or mid 2019. Um, and all through the pandemic, people were like, yo, what are those? Um, I wasn't super in love with them and I had to figure out whether or not they worked for my closet only because... I don't know I just I had to figure out whether they worked for my aesthetic slowly I have introduced them into my closet and I do have a pair of square toe shoes or sandals from public desire and this was actually like my first introduction to the square toe Oop, shoes are falling um square toe style but I I absolutely love these and I like that they were a thong sandal and I was like you know these are provocative provocative enough also a dupe of the Bottega Veneta um sandal that had the strap around the ankle um this is not eagle fish i'm just telling y'all <laughs> my first introduction to the square toe um style and i absolutely love these and then i was content for a really long time because like I'll t i told y'all or if you're new here i've told um all the beauties and bows before that i am and forever will be a square toe stiletto girl till i die like if you when y'all bury me bury me in one of those okay <laughs> and if they're red bottoms the better i that that is like my favorite favorite shoe like the so case maybe not i'll take a pagal you know mm, but make sure it's pointy toe now as the world turns as you know fashion is kind of evolving into this square toe frenzy i have figured out what in that style works for me and these are it again this is another Bottega Veneta inspiration. Um, this is not the Lido Mule. I forget what it is called in the Bottega um, world. And that's okay because this video is an Eagle official video. Let me see, what are they called here? Actually, they don't even have a name. They don't, oh, they're called the Break Freestyle. Absolutely love. And interestingly enough, the colorway for these says pink and in my mind, or in the naked eye, these look lavender, right? Let me show y'all these. These are giving me lavender. What I absolutely love about these is this kind of like raffia wicker feel. Um, I love these. And this is probably the most pronounced out of all the square toe shoes that I've purchased. But I absolutely love these. Absolutely love. I was drawn to the color more so than anything else. And I was trying to find out like how am i gonna wear these in my closet so i was like girl just order them as soon as they got here i had like four or five different outfits that i could wear these with i was like save us <laughs> right like i am super excited to wear these i actually wore these earlier today to shoot in um by the time this video comes out this is pre-recorded um by the time this video comes out i'm not exactly sure if that outfit would have already been posted on instagram which by the way you should follow me customs underscore chic shameless plug Interestingly, I have more people on, I have more subscribers than I have followers, which I love because 
this is this is our place right this is where we come together twice a week you know and and, and we share ministry okay because that's what this is that we share ministry but um so that's usually where you'll see like a first look again customs underscore chic make sure you follow me if you don't remember that it's down in the description box so make sure you check me out follow me holla at me i talk back we you know we do all of the things together um why did i bring that up because this i shot these and i absolutely loved the look i was the top that i wore with this i was kind of like i don't know if i want to wear these yada 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 but y'all once i remembered that i had these mm, it's a look you say, Luke, you can wear this with some, I mean, shorts, yes. Shorts and a white tank top, absolutely, sign me up. Um, a dress, sign me up. PTA meeting, sign me up. The office on a Friday, please believe they are going to get this wicker work, okay? Three out of five are really good odds. And why do I say that? Because the three pairs of shoes that I've gotten from Eagle Official, I, so far, absolutely love. I have outfits that I plan to wear with them. I have shot some content in them and those are ready to go and they're going to be worn and rotated in my closet. The fourth pair, when I opened the box, I was almost confused. I was like, who ordered these? Um, one, and then two, I was like, was this a consolation prize? Like, did I order something and they no longer had it? So they were like, oh, we'll give her this colorway anyway. Or, you know, this style is very similar to something that she would have ordered. I don't remember which brand used to do that, but it used to drive me insane. Like, if you don't have what I'm looking for, please don't send me a comparable item because you don't know that that's comparable to what I was thinking in my head. Um, I want to say it's Rent the Runway. Rent the Runway would do that. Like if you ordered something and they no longer had it in stock, they would send you a similar item. And similarly, I would send it back. This is not a shade campaign. Just the truth. So when these showed up, I was like, hmm. Now, I can't remember if I ordered these again. I ordered these a while ago and shipping took longer than expected, even for Eagle Official, because I just wasn't used to that happening. <sighs> I honestly do not remember ordering these so I can't even I can't even give you the rationale now I'm not saying these shoes are ugly I'm saying these shoes are unattractive to me right um, I absolutely love the color the name of the shoe is one up that's the name of the style or that's the style name and they are branded or marketed as the color purple this is actually pretty true this is a very light mauve or very um, a deeper lilac to me or a deeper lavender so this is purple to them and then excuse me um these which the name of the style is called break free this is pink and this is purple so that's pretty spot on in terms of like color designations but um i sorry i don't love this shoe i think i can understand like maybe if i bought these like why well, i would try to try a different style like the round toe but these are not really me um these seem to be very comfortable but i just don't see these fitting into my closet like I can easily see people pairing these with a pair of like either boyfriend jeans um cuffed up a nice graphic t-shirt oversized blazer you're good to go you can run an errand you can go to brunch you can go to like you know an easy breezy business meeting but these are not necessarily not even necessarily these are just not my style so I just I'm having a hard time figuring out why I would have ordered these unless I was trying to figure something outside of my comfort zone um I don't know I don't know so maybe I'll keep these but these are giving me very like mom-esque shoes and the heel height is not terrible so it's not it's not a kitten heel it's a very I would say this is probably like a true three and a half inch heel so I just don't know y'all I don't know why they're here I don't know what I was thinking if I ordered these and what y'all think <laughs> let me know down in the comments I don't know what the return process is for Eagle official because I've never returned anything um, I bought from them but this may be my first return again I don't think these were more than $25 and why I'm, I'm certainly not trying to just waste money I think I would prefer to either gift these to somebody or figure out somebody who would prefer them in their closet more than I do because I don't know but but let me give you all this caveat if you see me in them mind your business <laughs> right like if i figure out a way for them to work into my closet just that same you know boyfriend oversized jean cuffed up um graphic tee i don't know Last but certainly not least, I decided to go with a pair of flats. 
I don't know if I said this to you guys earlier, but all of the shoe sizes that I got was a size US 9 and a UK 7. Eagle Official is a UK based brand, so they will give you their sizes in UK. Um, actually, I think you can change the uh, measurement descriptions while you're on the website. So if you are a size nine, that equates to a UK seven. Just keep that in mind. They are very true to size. I bought all of these in whole sizes. I didn't go a size up, did not go a size down, didn't go half a size up or did not go half a size down. So if you are a true nine, then you will be a true size seven. At least that has been my experience. So FYI. So anyway, I decided to buy a pair of sandals, flats, just because I wanted a pair and I think I did a video a couple of weeks ago or probably like a month or two ago about all the things that you need um, for summer 2021 and I talked about a pair of wicker woven sandals and I picked these up obviously wicker woven is a very huge trend right now um, very Bottega Veneta esque again but um, I got these in a size uh, size I got these in the color black because I figured they would be easy to transition into a lot of things you're saying another pair of sandals Jen yes another pair of black sandals Yes, for those of you who don't know, I bought a pair of Giuseppe Zanotto um, very cute um, sandals a couple weeks ago that I did on my uh, luxury purchase summer 2021 and they are super comfortable i love them but they're just distinctly different because they have like a little toe situation in the front but um these are again the square toe um design i'm trying to think if you can buy anything that's not square toe right now i don't know I don't know <laughs> I mean I just feel like it's everywhere but that's because it's trending anyway um super comfortable I like this it is a flat sandal obviously but I mentioned that because some sandals that I've been seeing lately like the heel height is a little bit raised um but these are asymmetrical so it's just one one what is that not size it's one you yeah, know what I'm trying to say I don't know why I get lost <laughs> My words just escaped me um, but super comfortable these also came in a variety of colors I want to say they came in a white and also a cream um, I wanted another color uh, more than I wanted the black but they didn't have my size and I thought hey if I'm gonna do a haul or if I'm gonna buy some sandals might as well buy them here they were really well priced so I just went with these so yeah now I got two pairs of black slides I'll probably reach for these more just because um these were less expensive than the Giuseppe Zanotto one so I think I want to be more careful as to when I wear those and when I go on vacation it's gonna be a lot sandy and all that stuff so um I think I would prefer if a whole bunch of sand got stuck in these as opposed to the Zanotto ones and you know it just is what it is but I'm super excited to wear these if they are super comfortable or if I find that I really like the way they wear on my feet um then i will get other pairs and the only reason why i mentioned that is because i was in new york city a couple weeks ago actually that was last weekend i don't well it was last weekend from the day that i'm um, filming this video not exactly sure when it will be up but um i had to go run some errands real quick and i threw on my old and faithful gucci thong you know double g sandals that were all of the rave a couple years ago and i realized why i stopped reaching for those they were so uncomfortable i must have walked for maybe 20 minutes around my hotel and when i tell you my feet had blisters i just it was insane and i was like this is why i don't reach for these shoes they're so uncomfortable why are these so uncomfortable and i just couldn't i just could not fathom i was just like why well, i don't this is this is not good this is not good so anyway um my feet have healed now relatively i've been wearing flats and staying comfortable and wearing you know sneakers with a little bit of cushion in them so that way my feet can heal but um yeah we're back those gucci double slide sandals uh -uh. no not for me not for me hopefully that's not the case with all gucci sandals but when i tell you it's enough to have turned me off that's where I'm at. Um, so yeah, that is all that I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend shopping Eagle Official. Um, this is a haul and maybe review. I mean, they've been around for so long, so this is not exactly like a first impression. I have other sandals from them, but I just didn't do a haul because I didn't have that many. But um, yeah, if you stuck around this long, you know what to do. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you won't miss an upload. Um, let's see what else. Let's keep summering. Please be careful. Um, you know, Delta variant, Lambda variant of the coronavirus is kind of creeping up on us. So take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. I appreciate y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.